to the sphere. This episode is sponsored by Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Do you desire to belong to a community of unity? Visit KOGPassion.com to learn more about the Unleash Your Dopeness movement. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Sphere Network brings to you proudly Tag Team Champions of the World! The badass Hal Jerome, Woo! the crazy ass Jarvis Newsom, Inner Mission Podcast. And if you got a problem with that, we've got two words for you: suck it. <laughs> we've been watching the rest of the day. <laughs> no joke, oh, like, oh shit, bro. I'm. Uh, That's I'm, gotta be one of our best interests right there. I just, I just gotta say, like. Uh, Actually, watching Macho Man right before this show has definitely been inspiring to me. Like, I almost want to go get a Slim Jim. <laughs> almost. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, brother. But yeah, man. What's been up, man? You know, I'm trying. I need probably need some medicine like that too. I've got a little scratchy throat coming on, so I got my old water okay. here. We'll see. Yeah, no, no, I'm supposed to go to the gym after this, so I can't have <laughs> me, me waiting. Everybody's like, having <laughs> those right now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh, what's up, Marcus one of these Jones? days I'm going to come in here like with a, a bill. We're going to have championship belts. I'm going to run around in here like Stone Cold Steve Austin. We're going to come in yeah. here with championship tag team belts. I flicked somebody else. I flicked somebody else uh, like off over the weekend apparently. And a girl looked at me and apparently I reminded her of Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I was started faking like I was catching beers and shit. I mean, I would do the beer thing, but Gary had an aneurysm. You know, we do that in the studio. <laughs> we should do it anyways. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, saw um, a Star Wars movie. Yep, we'll begin to that a little bit later because we're going to. That's a good a conversation because that. <sighs> I just, you know, I really wish you hadn't seen it the second time because I know your opinion was way different from mine. And then you saw it the second time. But no, it actually it. changed the more I sat there. Yeah. Like afterwards, mm -hmm. and I sat there and thought about it and thought about it and thought about it because I talked with Kareem about it. And mm -hmm. I was like. Yeah. yeah, I'm not too sure about this. There's been, um, we should actually do a segment on that, actually. Movies that you watch that you initially thought were cool until five minutes afterwards, and then you're like, what the hell? Well, None of this makes sense. Right. I well, mean, except for me, this is, this wouldn't be on my list. Well, one of the movies that's in your, probably your top ten was one of the movies like that for me. I saw it the second time, and it fell out of my top ten. Oh, Baby Driver? Yep. Yeah. Nope. I saw, the second time I saw it, I was like, nope. I like this movie. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. What's up, Reem? Yo. Uh, Marcus, man, I'll put it like this. It's a good story, but it's far from being great. The key word is story. It left me feeling like I had just watched a movie based on a um, a young adult novel. It felt like, like Hunger Games. You know, like... Uh, the, but not as good. <laughs> like, you know, Twilight was written sort of like... The books were written sort of just like crazy young adultish of all the young adult material out there did you, is twilight the one you defaulted well, I, to no, i know this i know this because I, I feel bad because i've i had a i friend. know more than i would like to admit about twilight i'll leave it at that <laughs> right <laughs> well, I, I had a friend and she says like the books a she friend uh-huh well I, I haven't even seen all of them so i just, but anyways uh-huh she said the books are so hard to read because it's such a remedial <laughs> reading <laughs> level almost. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah. So that's what. <laughs> it's so bad. Marcus, you felt that way with Avengers? Which one? Maybe Age of Ultron. 
Yeah, Age of Ultron, I, I can see. Yeah, I mean, that, that was just too much. I, I mean, that was too much studio <laughs> interference. It even, literally is the only one I haven't watched more than once. I, I'll see if it's free on cable. Nope. I do like the song though, his rendition of Pinocchio's song. But you know, maybe just let me just go ahead and pull this up on my new yeah. product placement. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see my product placement. <laughs> I really like Transformers in here. Oh God, I love this phone. No, he said the first one. Oh fuck, Marcus, go somewhere, man. Gosh, but he's one of the guys. He said, uh, "What?" Well, I think he said Batman for Superman was better than Man of Steel. He thought Godzilla was an alien. Anyways, right, so, so, uh, <laughs> I just leave it at that. Marcus, I love you. You've been my friend for way too many years. You're 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 wrong. <laughs> and it, uh, I put something up on Facebook. I said, if you're having problems, I feel bad for you, son. <laughs> <laughs> if you're having problems trying to decide if you want to get this person a gift, I gave you five adult move, five adult Christmas movies, which were Elf, uh, Scrooge, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. The night before in Bad Santa. I was like, let the person you're trying to get a gift for pick which one they will remove from that list. If y'all agree, give them a gift. If y'all don't agree, eh, give them a bunch of coal. <laughs> <laughs> so which one did you go with removing? I actually removed uh, Bad Santa. Yeah, I can't, I can't agree with you on that one, man. I just, like, it's not as, it's funny, but it's not that rewatchable. For me, it's just it's, it's something about it. I mean, see, for me, is this? I'm my bad. I'm over here responding to Marcus on this chat. You know, the the, the delay time on there is too quick. I need to respond to him in real time. Mm. <laughs> that's how that's how that's how I felt about that. <laughs> like, like I oh, dropped this. Is, this is real. Yeah, this is serious. Um, so I have a soft spot for uh, for bad Santa just because I, I like Billy Bob Thornton in movies. He's just like. Even if it's not that great of a movie, I just think he's hilarious. But for me, it was National Lampoons, and oh, you're, you're, you're sh- well. So it's not to knock the movie. Yeah, I didn't really get into National Lamp. Like there was like a a two year period where I saw like Vegas Vacation, that one, and then um, that was it. Like I didn't really get too big into them. My favorite one of all time, though, and it's a shit movie. I'll admit this now is uh. National Lampoon's Aaron Wilder, but <laughs> I can't call it a shit movie. It's a, it's National Lampoon's to me, and that was like the last good National Lampoon's. Which one? Van Wilder. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, so that to me that was the last good National. Lampoon. Shout out to Ryan Reynolds on there. Yes, Jimmy Chungus and Deadpool. Well, but um, yeah, but for me though, it's definitely like I haven't seen uh. The night of yet? Yeah, and I know you've you said that highly, and I can't. There's no fucking way I could remove Elf. Elf is, no. Elf is one of Will Ferrell's best movies, and Scrooge, Scrooge is like right in the middle. Like it's a solid movie. You're right. It's a take on a, you know, on a on an old yeah classic. So I mean, it's, well, it's hilarious. The crazy thing is, I had people saying uh, mm-hmm. they they wanted me to put in Office Party, but these were the same people saying no to The Night Before, and I'm like, The Night Before and Office Party are like, well. So when they're telling you to put in an office party, are they saying so they can have another shit movie to say, take this one out? Or are they saying that because it will replace another movie? I say, I guess to replace another movie. I think they said that was a better movie. And I was like, office party was okay. That movie looked like garbage from the from the onset. Like, just the trailers. I never even saw that movie. I thought it was a movie would be a shit Actually, show. Actually, I was chilling with uh, Rain and Melinda over the weekend, and they had it playing. But you didn't go to the movies to go see it. No. I would go see Elf in the movies. I would. Hey, if they did, like, say, Alamo Draft House said, it's mm-hmm. a nice special free picture with the ticket, I, I would hit you up. I'm like, hey, Elf, Alamo Draft House. Mm-hmm. Let's roll. Yeah, like, because Elf is hilarious. It's a solid Christmas movie. That's one that, if it's on TV, I'll sit down and watch it. And see, I feel that way about the night before. Because mm-hmm. it's new, it's a different story. Mm-hmm. And it's something a little bit more relatable, to, especially to the age that we're at now. Yeah. 30s. So you wouldn't. I'm not 30. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are way, way. I got a couple you're years, You're getting man. there. You're getting there. Close, yeah. close, but no cigar. Yeah, you got a birthday coming up, don't you? Next month? Hell oh, yeah. Oh, shit. And I'll still be a few years off. From th- <laughs> Try to age me. I already got a great, I got three gray hairs, which I'm excited about, though. Three gray. Oh, um, it don't show on the screen. <laughs> oh, there you, you go. The magic of TV. See, that's bullshit. <laughs> like, it makes this, 
this patch right, right here you see that? My, that, like yeah. looks so much worse than what it does in, in real life, and then it makes your hair darker. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Magic of TV. Bullshit. <laughs> and find my camera. Bullshit. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, dude. So now I gotta talk about this because this was probably one of the biggest things that happened this year. It happened last Thursday. Disney bought Fox. Mm-hmm. And when you when we're trying to give you an idea of the scale of this, we're not just talking about all the X Men and Deadpool's and Fantastic Four. No, we're talking Avatar. We're talking about the TV studio. They're not taking over the channel, but they got the studio for the channel. Mm -hmm. So like that show, This Is Us. That's made by Fox Studio. Disney owns that now. Disney owns This Is Us. Dude, they're gonna Disney, Disney owns gonna Homeland. Own everything. Disney owns Homeland now. What I like is that out of this whole thing, they made the comment that no, we're not going to make uh, Deadpool, Deadpool uh, PG thirteen. That said, in fact, we want more movies. He says like we see a market R. for mm -hmm. rated R, which to me tells me like we're probably going to get another Blade. We're going to probably get mm -hmm. Ghost. R we're probably going to get Ghost Rider mm -hmm. done right. I mean, it's fucking like Blade would be awesome. Who would you cast as Blade? I think Restless Night Steel could do it. Damn Hell <laughs> fucking right. <laughs> right. There's nobody else I want to see as Blade. If, if I thought the first person that popped in my head was Idris Elba, but I was like, no, if he's not charismatic enough well, in that sense. He doesn't have a physical skill, too. Mm -hmm. If yeah. not Wesley Snipes, Billy Michael, Blanks. <laughs> Michael J. White. J. White. The guy who plays Spawn. Oh, hell yeah. Bro, I want them. No, no, no. See. Okay. <laughs> Wesley Snipes. <Slate. laughs> Hold on. So. There's a, a whole Look at thing. That's right, Julius. Blade. Hell yeah. Blade would be the shit, but they need to make Spawn over, which I hear is in talks. It, and no, it's supposed it's in, to be. It's in yeah, production yeah, right it's now. It's a rated R movie. Yeah. It's not going to be marketed to the masses. So I'm excited about it. I was a huge fan of Spawn when I was a kid. But I think he should do. There's this uh, internet, uh, this YouTube series of um, rated R Mortal Kombat. They look, yeah, yeah, I remember that. And he, yeah. and he plays uh, Jackson there before he has the bionic arms. They need to fucking make that movie. Because it looks so good, it's like they give like real life characters I mean, Fo to Mortal Kombat. Fox, bro. It's well, insane. Disney, if if they start taking this R rated route, they could do something like that now. Yeah, I mean, and then get away. Make with Blade it. Disney. Make Blade. And here's the thing. They oh my god, that would be so. They're good. not gonna so put good. their Disney name. They're gonna probably keep Fox name. Good. Just to say, okay, this is what's going on over here. This is what's going on over here. They could put Dasani's name on it for all, all I care. I, make Blade. All I know is. <laughs> When that pay uh the pay service come out for all their stuff, I'm getting it. Yeah. I mean, seriously, dude. Who what was your favorite Blade movie? Fuck me, honestly, the first one. Yeah, because the third one was crap, but that the second one was good too. I liked the first two. Yeah, the yeah. third one was kinda like that wasn't the crapper, but Ryan Reynolds was hilarious. Wait, Ryan Reynolds was in the second one, right? Third. He's in the third he was one. Hannibal King so the, oh, so the second he, one was with the and weird. Marvel little, approached yeah. him on Blade about Deadpool. That's when he first got, got approached about Deadpool. Damn, that was a long time ago. Right. That's why he said when he made Deadpool, it took him seven, well, no, was it seven, nine years? It was something like however many years mm -hmm. to get it and to get it going. He dropped his, he said, look, I dropped my salary. Just give me part of the tickets on the back end. Yeah, he was smart. That was foresight. Man. But holy fuck, that's one of my favorite movies. And considering that, <laughs> someone, I saw this on Instagram. Deadpool, without being played in China, made more money in its box office run than Justice League, which was released worldwide. That's insane. Yeah, that's insane. But you know, Star Wars right now is like the second highest selling movie of all time. I can believe it. But I, like I said this though, how did you like that Avengers trailer in 3D? The Infinity War trailer. It was good. I'm definitely seeing that. I, I had to remember for a minute. I forgot. It was like super late. Right. And I was, and like I said, I fell asleep in the movie. But right. we was actually all hanging out here before he went to go uh, check it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had an office party, yeah. and I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna finally make it to one." Yeah. And I showed up right before it was <laughs> over <laughs> for right. ten minutes. It was like, "Hell yeah, I made it, guys!" And then we said, "I'm gonna right. go eat." <laughs> yeah. The food here was delicious. I, I forgot the name of the, uh, the, uh, the company, the catering company that was here, but that shit was, that was I know, and I was like, man. I was, I'm just upset I didn't get one of those whiskey drinks. Yeah, he never came back. I was like, no, you know what? I just, he's a hoarder. He kept it for himself. I was like, I just go to the bar. I'll pay for this. Yeah, I had to come in here with my beers I brought in. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. 
I bring you to the party, baby. Woo! You, you know, see, this lady's <laughs> right. spending less money. Oh, yeah. And speaking of money, this portion of the show is sponsored by Houston House of Finance. Did you know that only four states in the United States offer financial education? 33% or more than 77 million of Americans don't pay their bills on time. 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month, and 39% of adults say they don't have enough savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston Housewives of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scheduling your complimentary personal financial strategy. Contact Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463 or email at info at HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com. Ask us how you can participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. Houston Housewives of Finance are the new faces of the new age of financial services. Gosh, that's just so wordy. <laughs> yes, I said that on there. Screw it. <laughs> I have got no comment for that one. <laughs> yeah. I am not going to be an accessory to the crime. Um, <coughs> I run my mouth a lot, but I love you, Jarvis. I'm not going to be here when Gary smacks you with his dreads. <laughs> He's just <been> coming here. <laughs> Come in looking like the Predator. <laughs> no, there's a, um, I can't remember what fighting game it was, but there's a character on there that has like dreads, like bionic dreads. I want to say it's like Cyrax or something. He definitely uses them as a weapon, but mm -hmm. that's neither here nor there. I think you're right. I just really, 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 really want to shit on this Star Wars movie. So oh, badly. we're about to, man. We're about to. But I, I did want to talk about that Fox thing because that's big. That's huge. Uh, oh, for sure. Like, that's huge. I'm, like, I'm honestly as excited as I am for the Infinity War Avengers. Mm. Now Avengers 4 can take – looks it completely different now. Oh, I'm excited because they – like, I'm like, never really excited to see a movie in 3D. Yeah. I am this time. Like – <laughs> uh, it looks like they're paying pretty close details to how they're going to film this. And stuff, right. So. And the crazy thing is, the way the MCU is set up, they could have inserted Fox in them almost at any time because the Infinity Stones. Yeah. Reality. That's what I'm, I'm like, looking forward to because they've already announced that this, uh, the Infinity Wars Part 2 is going to be something like we've never seen before in any kind of movie. And it's because they're going to flip things. And then, I mean. Right. Dude, what if it was really going to be the Avengers versus X-Men? X-Men. That would be insane. Exactly. Fucking insane. So, I mean, who knows what's going on? It's a good time. If you're a comic book fan, if you're just a fan of just a good movie that's worth sitting in the movie theater, this is the time. I mean, sure, there's a lot of shit stuff. We're not going to talk about those in the next episode because we're going to be giving you our 6 through 10, top 10 things we saw this year in the next episode. Spoiler alert! Yeah, Star Wars is. <laughs> yeah, it, it fell out of my. I'm so disappointed. Yeah. Like. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go get ready and wrap this up. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you know, all y'all. You know, we ask that y'all subscribe to the show on all major platforms: iTunes with Mister iPhone with iPhone X. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I caught you off guard with that one. Yeah, my bad. I kind of zoned yeah. out for a minute. I was, I was trying to. He, he I was got the iPhone X. Yeah. So he's checking out. He'll be checking the iTunes criticism and stuff like that. But, you know, subscribe to us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, coming soon, Spotify. And if you're on iTunes, which Howard will be able to check now with his <laughs> awesome ass iPhone X. He's being a douche. I definitely had this <laughs> iPhone the whole time. Not this one, but the other, the other ones. But um, leave some feedback. He'll, he'll read it. I won't, but he'll be able to read it. <laughs> I will read it, actually. And like I said, I, I actually want y'all to leave some feedback. If you're listening on iTunes, please leave some feedback because there'll be some cool shit just to bring up and talk about. Especially if your opinion is wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to call you out. But um, Like Marcus Griffin. Oh, God. Over yeah. at Fish and Grits. And we done had him co-host the show. Yeah, we're going to have to bring him again here. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like a year in close or something. Right. You know, actually, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, at some point or another, just show up on the Fish and Grits set. I think we should do that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so also, all y'all watching us, and we do, we will appreciate y'all watching us. Make sure you share this on your page that your friends can see it, your family can see it. We want some of their opinions. So next time when we go live, you know, they'll be able to join us. And y'all can join in the conversation live here on Facebook with us. And last but not least, this costs money. It costs money because here's the thing. We got a lot of movies next year. 
like a lot of movies. And we want to see some of those movies with you guys. Some, not all. You need to pay for your friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we want to take you guys to the movies. And we also would like to say, you know what? Uh, we're all adults here. Let's uh, have a little sippy sip in the movie theater. Get a little jib jab and flip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we ask that you go to the www.thesphere.tv backslash donate. You can do a one-time donation or you can go on to a monthly donation on Patreon. And it just helps us out with this. It helps us, you know, take you guys out. Uh, I know me and Reem over there at the Boom Bap, we've been talking about hitting a couple of concerts and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, that's, I don't know if that's going to be Sphere, but that's just something like we do. Mm. That way, if you're listening to our shows, whether it's Intermission, that Boom Bap, Injustice, G is for Gentlemen, and we're talking about doing something and you want to join in, it helps us to bring you into that fold. Because we're not we're not always here in the studio when we have these discussions, so definitely make sure you half check that out. Half the time we're not. Right, so half the t- like honestly, we could do a pre-show because we have the discussions really before we start the show. But we saying all that now we're going to talk about our other disappointment with this episode eight. So make sure you check out the full episode when it drops. And uh, thanks for checking us out. You stay classy, San Diego. Indeed. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, one thing I was surprised at that this movie take place exactly after episode seven. Like, mm-hmm. like I laughed my ass off. Oh, let me tell you right now, this portion of the show will contain spoilers. You should know that by now. Well, no, <laughs> no we do good. We don't spoil it always. Yeah, but, but this movie deserves it. If it's disappointing, we're going to spoil it. And so we're telling you right now that this portion of the show will have spoilers. You know, we're going to give it, uh, let's say, 15 minutes. I'm not setting a time limit because I've gotten plenty of rants. Okay, well, let's, uh, say, let's say 15. You, I'll let you dictate that. Let's say 15 <laughs> minutes. If you don't if you don't want to want to be spoiled. Uh, we got sure trailers you, today? We actually do got a trailer. We'll, do, we'll cap it at 15, yeah. seven minutes, 17 minutes tops. Yeah. So jump ahead to, to that point right now, and we're going to go ahead and spoil the fuck out of this movie because we have to. Three, two, one. one. <laughs> 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 okay. Fuck that movie. Movie's garbage, dude. Dude, like. Oh, my gosh. It's like Phantom Menace levels. It's like when you had a kid that you know can be make the honor roll, and he just doesn't pay attention to class, and he comes home with C's, but you know he's smarter than it. I just... Like, uh, I know this movie could have been so much better, because it's just little stuff that could have been better. You know, like developing one of the plot lines. Right. Now, I will say, Kylo Ren was developed a little bit more. I did appreciate that. See, it's so weird, because I thought Kylo Ren was pretty dope in the first one. He was whiny, but I liked the conflict in it. Like, to me, he wasn't he's, as whiny. I thought he was more whiny. He wasn't as whiny to this for me. I think I, like, I love when he like he said, come with me. Go on, Ray. Bart. Like, I was like, oh, God damn it. You just murdered a nine-foot dark force user. Right. You don't need her. You're clearly the most powerful person in the universe, as far as you know, anyways. Yes, that's what he's saying. That's what yeah. he's saying, like, be my apprentice. Oh, I don't think he was thinking apprentice. He was just like, look, let's run this shit together. See, the biggest flaw in this whole movie for me, and it, it happened over and over again, you've got all this hype around Snoke. I don't know anything now. I do know that he is nine feet tall. Yeah. He's not 30 feet tall, but he's 9 feet, so he's rather tall. And we also know he's rather fucking powerful with the dark. Yeah, yeah. Like, but apparently not powerful enough. Right. Like, not even close. But, like I said, I think Kylo was getting to the point where he, he, wasn't, he wasn't able to do everything that Snow could do. Yeah. But just like uh, Sidious said, uh, like Ma, well, no, Vader could be more powerful than him eventually. Yeah, but see, the whole thing is, though, Vader also trained under his tutelage for a long fucking time. Well, see, we don't know how long, because like I said, they didn't give us no really background with the First Order. That's no, 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 but with, but, all right, so here's the thing, though, okay? I'm just looking on scale of it, right? Yeah. With Vader, 
he was with uh, Sidious from the time he was Anakin until the time that his sons, the twins, were old enough to be adults. Yeah. So with yeah. Kylo Ren, you have to assume that when he killed these kids, because Luke talks about it, he was older. Yeah. So he was in his, he was at least a teenager, and we know now he's also still in his late teenage early 20s, 20s he's, yeah. he's under 30 yeah so at max uh, under 25 yeah yes. at max he's been with snoke five to seven years yeah well, and i know he's supposed to be super powerful and all that but he can't even control half the shit like he's supposed to be able to like and then some of the shit just i mean i mean it, it's just a lot of extra stuff uh um, you got someone who is ancient years old and you've got someone who just has well, raw said, talent. We don't even know if he's ancient. We don't know shit about Snoke. But we, well, we, we do know he's old as shit, though, because they alluded to that in the first one. He's old as fuck. Like, he's been because, around for a while. Because honestly, he looks like the little boy Anakin killed at the temple. <laughs> he <laughs> looks like that little kid. But see, my thing is this, that we know Snoke is there because he talks about being in the shadows and watching the beginnings and endings of these empires rising and falling. And he talks about it in the first one. So we know he's at least 100 years old. Yeah. So probably a thousand. Yeah, you know, but he's old enough though to know what's going on. Meaning he's had years to hone in these these skills. Meaning that this bullshit where it's, where he was tricked by this little parlor trick where he was tricked and sliced in half shouldn't have happened. At least he should or or he should have been able to stop it from happening because as we can see, he's able to control force people on the ground, not even in the same building. He's able to mold, meld two. Very, very force powerful beings, their brains together without them even knowing that he did it. So I mean, it's just it was way too many inconsistencies, especially with Snow. Yeah, uh, let's go. And then with the commercials hyped it up as if we were going to see some things and learn like, some stuff I, about it. That's what I wanted. I'm like, advance the story. Yeah, and then you've got this fucking. Um, like I honestly, would, I would have liked it if this took place maybe six months after, rather than. Exactly after episode, yeah. it was just too many random like things. It, it's like having a, a tree that needs to be pruned. It was there like, were too many branches no. that were being shot off on this that never got explored. You got Finn and Rose who went on this pointless mission that didn't even amount to anything that they didn't need to do in the first fucking place. You got Leia doing her Superman thing, which was totally doesn't even make any sense. I mean, I understand, but in the only thing I had thought about it since we talked about a pre-show. They decided not to cut any of her scenes. I had a feeling, had she still lived, that probably would have been cut. Pro- hopefully, or you would imagine. So, so and I get that. But so I was like, uh, so we'll, we'll, we won't harp too much on Leia. Yeah, well, yeah. But here's the thing, too. Okay, one of the whole things in Star Wars is that jumping at hyperspeed, yeah, is a way that it's supposed to. It's impossible to track. It defies physics. One of the whole plot devices in this is that hey. They can track that now. It like goes against the whole fundamentals of what happens in fucking Star Wars. It's how these people are supposed to be able to hide and shit. Now all of a sudden, they didn't even talk about how they discovered that, that what, what it did. They mentioned it twice, and then all of a sudden, and, and Rose she took off and she talked about it so fast that we couldn't catch it. Yeah, she's like, well, if they do this and do that, then it's probably possible. I'm like, wait, slow the fuck down. <laughs> I'm like, it, but and it's, they just breezed past a huge thing that was supposed to move the story forward, and then it didn't go anywhere. So it's just way too many. This was written like it felt <sighs> like it wasn't written by adults. It felt like it was written by a bunch of teenagers. Dude, I so for me, it looked like it was they were watching Marvel and 007, like a James Bond, like a Casino Royale or something, felt like they had been watching these movies while writing this, and they were distracted, like, oh, shit, a Casino, that'd be fucking dope. Yeah. yeah I, I was about good. to say, please don't shit, don't shit on Casino Royale, because that's one of my favorite movies. No, no, no. Like I said, <laughs> Daniel Craig is by far my favorite okay. my favorite 007, so. But it's but like, they just see some cool stuff, and yeah, like, let's yeah. put this in let's here. Let's throw this in here. Yeah, let's, yeah. And let's Star yeah. Wars it up. Let's right. uh, we'll throw some lightsabers in here, and then, oh, interracial dating, perfect. Right. Uh, like, then trying to pose this whole like love triangle potentially between Rose and Finn and Ray. I can't even see call it a triangle. That was the most awkward kiss I've ever seen on yeah, screen. Like, yeah. And okay. then she she loves him. Y'all have known each other for two fucking days. What the fuck? Two days. L- literally. Two days. It literally was fucking two days. And you thought he was this great hero. And then you found out that he was leaving y'all. And you stunned his ass. Yeah. So, and I now mean. you love him. Oh. <sighs> It was just all right. So, what else was another inconsistency? Um, now I remember reading this, 
And Mark Hamill said this himself. When he read the script, he says, I absolutely hate what you're doing with Luke. Up until the, the chugging milk thing, I thought Luke was fucking hilarious. He reminded me of a disgruntled old man. Well, to me. <laughs> and that's that, what I think well, he was the, supposed the, to be. The chugging milk thing actually makes me think about that. Like, he's trying no, to. No, when you, when, you, when you pointed that out, I was like, okay, I can see that. Like, it was just strange to it, me. It was it strange. It made me uncomfortable. But it was just like, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> you got these weird ass animal things that look like birds with it looks cow like a, udders. It and looks he like, just goes up and just. <laughs> it's like a bird and a cow put together that sits on its ass. It was, it was a very, very, very strange scene. It was sort of childish. Like, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> you going to do this too? <laughs> oh, shit, man. But there, and there were some really cool things they started to go down, like on that island, talking about how Ray almost fell into this well, this nexus of dark force, right. and never mentioned it again. Like, it, it looked so cool. Like I was like, oh, shit, this is about to get intense. Nope. Mm-mm. She gets covered in water somehow, and that's the it. And, and and Kylo Ren gets covered in water halfway across the galaxy, it's just, and no was, mentions ever it was again. It's just so inconsistent. <sighs> it's like speaking to someone who, but I think, and as someone with ADHD, I can say this: it's like speaking to someone like me when I'm having one of these these moments where I can't focus on anything. Yeah, or I've had like. And I start a conversation, and I jump to something else, and I jump to something else, and I come back trying to finish this conversation, and I just keep going back and forth. That's what they did. They word they word mapped this shit, and back about like just jump from one idea to another, back and forth, back and forth, without ever actually progressing anywhere. It, it really did. I just it looked cool. I mean, it, it looks great. That's why I said it. it's entertaining. It's a good movie. It's far from a great story. Though. One of these days we'll have a oh. They, that lightsaber scene was pretty fucking dope, though. When they were fighting the uh, Imperial Guard. Oh, hell yeah. That man. was pretty cool. That was pretty dope. That was the best part of the movie. And you mm. think that you're going to see the well, best fight scene, but you, you think you're going to see Snow, I mean, uh, Kylo Ren and, and Luke fight, but... It's not really Luke. It's not a fight. But I knew something was off, because I'm like, did Luke... He, like, the beard oh. was a different color. The hair yeah, was it was darker. Yeah. He looked younger. And then all that fucking firepower from the, from the ad-hats and all that shit, and yeah. he just... That, uh, when that was cool. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, "Fuck yeah, Luke!" Mm-hmm. But it's just like you know. And I did love the Ghost of Yoda. Yeah, the Ghost of Yoda had me. <laughs> no, don't burn it. Yoda said, "Fuck this." <laughs> I vaguely remember that part. I fell asleep at some part. Like I was like wow. overwhelmed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, it was late too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was. Uh, and plus, like I said, it's long. Yeah. <laughs> this was a long movie. Yeah. But it, it just seemed like there was a lot of starting and stopping and inconsistently. Like it had pacing issues well, for me. And you know, this is why uh, J.J. Abrams says he's taking back over. Because, you know, he's the one who directed Seven. He passed mm-hmm. he passed Eight off. And see, and I think um, Force it, Awakens was a pretty solid movie. It was. Yes, it was it a sort of copy of New Hope. Sure. Yeah, but whatever. But it still <laughs> had elements. It was still good. It was elements <laughs> outside of New Hope that wasn't in it. Yeah. So Abram said he's taking back over for episode nine. There, yeah, because it's, it's just like, man, like it is not like I don't think I think they might take the trilogy away from this guy now. The thing with this movie is that it reminds me of like it's to me it's like it it did for me what um, Divergent was to Hunger Games, where it's like you've got this. Whole like this whole sequence of movies that's really fucking good. Got this great story. Yeah. It's got his hiccups here and there. Great character development. All this shit. And then you got another movie who wants to have the same story, similar. All this shit. And you got all this hype surrounding it, but none of the delivery. You're right. The execution yeah. just falls short. I I don't know anything new about any of these characters. I, and then this bullshit about Kylo Ren talking about I've seen who your parents are. Ha ha ha! Go fuck yourself. They're nobodies. Like it just opened up more questions. Like I don't know who the fuck Snoke is. Don't know who Ray's parents are. I have a sneaky suspicion that she may be a relative of the Skywalker gene uh, line. Period. That she might not be related directly to Luke or Leia in terms of being their kids. Right. But she may be a cousin or something. And if that's the case, then it can change the story up for being like. Holy shit! They're the oh, chosen no. family, and the universe is just deciding that yo, we need a new st- a new Skywalker to take up. Well, Luke that, that's it really said she's not as interested in pursuing 
you know, Ray after episode nine. She's already said that. She's like, yeah, I don't blame her because they didn't do shit for her character. But here's my thing. And like someone talked about this, like this is Disney's problem ever since they got it. One, you don't have to put out a Star Wars movie every year. No. Two, the fact that you have to constantly find directors is telling you that there's an issue going on. Maybe with you guys. Because you remember with uh, episode eight, uh, what's Ryan, whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. He wasn't the first director. So, I mean, there's obviously an issue with this. Look, take your time and build this out before you crap it out. Well, the thing is that they're trying to f do too much so they can monetize everything. Yeah. So, for instance, like with those little fox things and the little bird yeah, dog like things. Yeah, poor thing, yeah. Well, yeah, like they never even mentioned their names. I don't know how many people know their names. I don't understand how they figure that out. But it's just, it's just, I just, I'm just like, I oh, there's just so much to do. But, I mean, also, it's just like, you know, take your time. Like, when, hey, we had one, was it every other year or every two years with the prequels came out? Something like that, yeah. It, then, it, it, was, it made me. And like I said, yeah. the worst prequel is the first one. Yeah. I will say that uh, Revenge of the Sith is better than it. I say Attack of the Clones was the better one out of all three. Hmm. Although the third one had the best lightsaber scene, I mean, <laughs> oh, I've got the high ground. <laughs> like, okay, you're age, <laughs> <All> right? <laughs> yeah, you were the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> I like how people try to make these movies, like those three movies, seem so much deeper than what they are. They're not. Yeah, like, yeah, you but, see, he's shrouded in darkness here, signifying that he's moving all the dark. He's in the hallway. Right. There's no lights in the hallway. <laughs> but also, like I said, with the prequels, and we all agreed to this. They had the best villains so far. Oh, for sure. In the Star no, Wars. No question. And everything looked cooler. Heck, I mean, I still say Maul was probably one of the most wasted characters because I think that... <laughs> Absolutely. But I love Dooku. I, I like Dooku. He was a very... I liked him because he was a complex character. Dooku. Got, yeah. yeah. But before we continue this, though, yeah. this portion of the show is sponsored by The Sphere. Are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at the sphere dot TV. Oh, yeah. All right. So, you know, this, that's 15 minutes right there. So let's go ahead. Because we can keep. For sure. We for can sure. keep ragging on this. There was one more thing I wanted to say. I can't remember. But is it going to spoil? No, it's not a spoiler. It, was, right. it was just. Go oh. Ahead. The internet, I think, hit this one right on the head. Snoke is the new Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. I yeah. was really hoping they were going to make Jar Jar Binks be, like, some criminal mastermind. That would have been fucking hilarious. That would have been redeemed. and would have redeemed this for me. Yeah. But, uh, so, that's, that's how Star Wars, I mean, honestly, it's not going to be my top ten. So, movie theater, fire stick, what have you. All the other things in between. I'm not going to say fire stick because, you know, what? if you sit down, it's still entertaining. Yeah. But it's not a nighttime 3D. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking $5 matinee. Yeah. It's a good It's a, it, it's, it's a, it's it's a good watch. Yeah. Like I said, it's a good movie, but it's it's far from a great story. That's the, yeah. way, that's the way I describe it. All right. Dang, I just remember that sniper scene in Rogue One. I think it's Rogue One, yeah. Yeah. That made me think of a video game for some reason. I can't believe people steal shit. Up. I actually like Rogue One. No, I thought Rogue One was good. I yeah. saw it twice. Yeah. And it's just, um, I mean, I think people don't understand that the movie wasn't supposed to be like the I other Star Wars. It's a yeah. fucking anthology. <laughs> like, literally, hey, guess what? You guys know this and this. Let's just tell you the side story. It, it, it's like literally like we're having a conversation at a bar, and then someone else at the other seat's like, "Yo, let me tell you what I saw." Right. Like, it's basically like I said. Look, we y'all know about the Skywalkers. 
Let's show you. There was other shit going on outside the yeah. Skywalkers. Here's how the Skywalkers came into play. <laughs> you want to know how the uh, New Hope opened up? This is how. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, you know. So, anyways, uh, we do have a trailer, and it's for a movie we talked about uh, once before. And now that I've seen the full theatrical trailer, I want It to looks see. fucking dope. I want to see this. It looks like, so far, and it looks like an Oscar original movie. Oh, yeah. He's in it. It, I'm just and excited that it looks like Queen a very Amidala. it looks like a very original movie. And we that's got Queen Amidala and Poe in this movie. Poe Dameron. And he was still a fucking badass though. Yeah. I'm happy about that. I, I didn't I ruin did. his character. Thank God. And but, we got uh, Falkyrie from Thor, Tessa Thompson. Yeah, she's in there. I, I didn't notice that. But um, the movie is called Annihilation. Um, it's basically a team goes to investigate what's going on, like. It's been team after team going to this one area that keeps. I that just ruined this movie for myself. That never. Uh, we'll talk about that. In a <laughs> oh God! <laughs> but it's team after team of people that goes into this one area and no one comes back except this one woman's husband, but he is not completely back. He's like changed, like biologically changed, psychologically changed, and she's uh, a biologist or something like that. Some wrong? shit like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh. So she takes a team to go, and what they realize is the laws of physics don't apply to this area. It gets real fucky over there. <laughs> I love that word. Like it's not, <laughs> it's not like that. Everything in this reality is trying to kill you. It's making new things. That's what, like that's one of the lines I heard her say. She's like, "It's not trying to destroy us. It's trying to make us something else." And I'm like. That should should tell you the idea of just changing the biology of stuff. What if you touched a tree and it was wet like water? That's dope. <laughs> so I mean, it's it's got these things, these factors in it. Visually, it looks really good, and it looks sort of fan, was, fantastical. Can I say that? I mean, you can say whatever the hell you want. It's you know, fanciful is the word I think you're looking for. Yeah, sorry, we, we got a little quiet. We're, we're looking at this trailer. I mean, it right just now. looks fucking cool. Like it's like uh, that one scene. She says it's a crocodile with shark teeth. So like it's making new things. It's making new creatures, new plants. And I want to check this out. This movie reminds me of a mixture of Alien with. Um, See, like, look at that. That's like a wolf. Yeah. Or like a bear and an elk. Who knows what the fuck that is? It reminds me of Alien mixed with Arrival with a little bit of Avatar with some strange, colorful shit. But also, if they had read this book called, um, not fucking it, oh, uh, Speaker of the Dead. It's uh, in the Ender Game trilogy. So, like, Ender Lee. I hate they didn't uh, continue that. Yeah, the movie was crap though. Yeah, it looked cool, but bro, the book. Have you have you you've, you read that book, right? No, you've never read Ender's Game. Mm-hmm. Bro, you should read the book. Most people know Ender's Game, but they don't know about the fucking trilogy after that one yeah. or Bean Saga because Bean has his own. Yeah, dog, that whole book series is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I got a couple of them actually. Like the, it's it's insane. But I might have to work on that. But uh, in, in, in but in the book, so the parallels I draw from this is that um, once you get to um, speaker of the dead and all that stuff. Um, there's they're on an alien planet called Lusitania, and while they're there, they notice that there's only one species of everything: one species of plant, one species of tree, one species of animal. And they realize that there's something on here that has caused everything to evolve because they're all in one circle of life or whatever. Like yeah. the grass becomes the animals, the animals becomes the tr- Die and become the tree, and then all this shit. It's crazy. But that reminded me of that. It, it's so, so. It looks interesting. I think yeah. that's. Uh, let me check IMDb. Because, like I said, we got movies as soon as January. I'm just excited because the, what, the, what, the director from uh, Ex Machina is yeah. involved with this, and that movie was cool. Not only. It's a very original film. I think too. not only he. I think he's directing it, but I think he also helped co wrote it. Mm-hmm. You know, for, for the screen. Yeah. It's based off a book. So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about it. It's just I'm just tired of seeing the same shit over and over and over. I, again. I think honestly, I think this is why sci-fi is taking the lead in movies right now. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, they're having a few mishaps, like fucking Valerian, but yeah, it's more, more, and, and I think more so like like I'd call it like experimental sci-fi or some shit, where it's like dealing with like they're taking like the genre with aliens, like well, well, aliens I, in general, and not making it like oh god, they're yeah. going to invade us well, and fuck everything you up the and movie, probe uh, us. French, well, the TV show French. Yeah, I like that because that was like all the stuff outside of the regular science. We know the stuff that yeah. we can't still prove, but we know we're working. Yeah, on. it's like. Almost there. <laughs> Speaking of this, like, you know, some of this stuff is real. Right, but guess what? Right comes out next week. Yeah. And <laughs> Jean Claude Van Johnson's out. I forgot about that movie. It came, it came out 15, so I'm going to check that out probably Ooh, uh, tomorrow. I'm going to watch that tonight. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Jean Claude Van It's on Hulu, right? Yeah. Oh, God. I forgot about Let that. Let me check out just in January. Just some of the stuff we got in January. I wonder how that review, Jean Claude Van Johnson. Um. Oh, the Corey's got a movie? I might check that out. What is it? A Tale of Two Corys. What the fuck is that about? It's the story of Corey Feldman and Corey Hain as they were kids. So I might check that out. Uh, well, while you're doing that. Acts of Violence. Let me go ahead and shout out mm-hmm. KOG and Company. This portion of the show is sponsored by KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Unleash Your Dopeness is a people empowerment movement built to encourage the masses to operate outside of their fears and have the gall to recklessly pursue their dreams and passions in life. Join thousands of others as we unlock the great that greatness that dwells with, with inside. Oh, man, I messed it up. Shop Dope Gear at KOGPassion.com. That's KOGPassion.com. And use coupon code DOPE for 10% off exclusive Unleash Your Dopeness apparel. Act now. Sizes are selling out fast. I just whistled out of my tooth. You, yeah. That was cool. All right. I'm going to just give y'all a quick rundown of some of the stuff that's going on in 2018. Start on, starting in January. Uh, and that, mo- that seems like a fire stick mode to me. I didn't go. What? That, that Molly, Molly's game. Uh, tell to course interested. I want to see where is, it, where is that going. I want some info about that. I might check out the trailer. Uh, there's a movie with Gerard Butler coming out called Den of Thieves. It's got the uh, leprechaun from American Gods. Oh, he, he, he he's actually the leader of the thieves. That's interesting. So I'm, I'm interested in that as well. Um, that's pretty much all. That's really for January. Of course, in February, February second is the new Cloverfield movie. Um, there's that Winchester movie I talked about with the woman with the ghost and stuff. Then of course, uh, what is that movie? Three Billboards coming out. It's already out. Fuck. Yeah. Have you seen it? No. I, wonder, I haven't heard anything about it. Black Panther, February 16th. Uh, now, I saw this trailer. I don't know if you saw the trailer for Samson. No. Yeah, there's a Samson movie that looks pretty interesting. Like when you say... You say like Samson. biblical Samson. It huh. it looks interesting. Like, check out the trailer after the show. We'll, we'll talk about it a little bit after that. Uh... Okay, I don't know what that is. Bro, I got to go see three billboards. You know what he has on Rotten Tomatoes right now? What? A 93. Oh, yeah, we're checking it out. Uh, Annihilation comes out February 23rd. Yes. Uh, Jason Bateman got a new movie, Game Night, coming out. What movie would I say I was going to look at after, before you said Annihilation? Uh, Give me a second, give me a second. Oh, it was uh, Samson. Yeah, Samson. All right. Uh, let me see here. Death Wish comes out March 2nd. A Wrinkle in Time, March 9th. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm waiting for. Um, it has Billy Zane in this. Yeah. Dude, this this movie's going to suck. It probably will, but the trailer looks pretty good. Tomb Raider comes out on the 16th. I'm not gonna see that in 3D. I've got no hopes for that movie. <laughs> that movie looks garbage. It's it's one the trailer looks garbage. You notice how many times they showed her jumping in the trailer? Like me and Kareem, Kareem looked over. And he's like, "Why the fuck is she always jumping? Can't she just run?" <laughs> 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 and it was one of those oh, weird man. things. Uh, March 23rd, Pacific Rim Uprising. Uh, let's see what I else. tell you that Hulu has a version of the movie called Atlantic Rim. Shit, we're going to be busy March. March 30th, Ready Player One. Mm-hmm. No, the trailer for that in 3D looks so cool. It does. And then someone broke down, like, 
all the stuff in it. They got video game stuff, cartoon stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, there's that game, this video game called Overwatch. Yeah. It just came out. They got characters from Overwatch in it. So this was done, like, as recently as last year. Yeah. Put, put together. Freddy Krueger's in there. Um, there's a Tron Cycle. There's the DeLorean. There's a uh, Speed Racer, the, uh, his car. Yeah. It's the Mach 5. The Mach 5, yeah. But they also got Racer X's car in there as well. Mm-hmm. Someone got Racer X's car. So it's so much. Someone got the 18 van. Like, if you go back and watch the trailer, it's so yeah. much stuff that you're going to be like, oh, oh. Uh, Joker and Harley's in it. But who's playing them? It's CGI, animated. Oh, okay. So, but it's the Joker and, Har- Joker and Harley's in it. Uh the new mutants come out April thirteenth. Sort of interested in that. What side are you on looking at this? I'm on, I'm on IMDb. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's some more interesting movies. I have to look up some more info. <laughs> April twentieth, four twenty. Super Troopers two comes out. That was not an accident. Oh no, no. I will be seeing that. Yes. Did you did you like uh, Super Troopers the first one? Oh yeah. Did you Bar- spill my Barbara? injuries. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> Uh, May 4th, Infinity War, Avengers. Uh, May 25th, Solo, a Star Wars story. Now, here's the thing with that. I haven't seen a trailer for it. I don't, I don't. Disney plays it so well. They're, they're not like Warner Brothers and just like, oh, here you go. Yeah, but they shit the bed on this one. They owe us a trailer at this point I because think- they made it seem like we're going to get so much in this fucking movie. I'm very bitter, by the way, if y'all can't tell. So, who, we might get it before the end of the year, though. We'll see. Think about we'll it. We'll see. Because we had the Star Wars trailer for how long? So, it's a, probably about the end of the year. We'll probably get it. Uh, June 1st, Deadpool sequel. June 8th. That's going to be awesome. Now, I haven't seen this trailer. I saw this out. I may just see the trailer just to see how much shit I'm going to talk bad about it. But it's Ocean's 8. The all-females. Yeah, I haven't seen much about it. But I before you even get to it, I can see it. Incredibles 2 looks fucking cool. Yeah, June 15th. Uh, now I'm, I will I'm, say, I'm excited about that. I will say this about Ocean State. Am I mad that it's all females? No. Here's what I wanted, though. Don't try to rebrand something. This should have its own fucking identity. I hate rebranding. I think... Just look at Ghostbusters. You have... Because when you rebrand something, you already have, especially something that's did really well. Wait, so this is, you know, okay. So here's my thing. I haven't looked at the cast yet. Yeah, four. Ocean's at eight. Yeah. You know, though, the cast is a pretty strong cast. It's a pretty strong cast. I just wish it wasn't Ocean's eight. I wish it was something else. Oh, there's a trailer for it. Yeah, that's what I said. The trailer came out just, uh, I think, over the weekend. Okay. Uh, Jurassic World, June 22nd. The Purge has a new movie? Oh, okay. So I might be okay with this. Uh, Ant-Man and Wasp, July 6th. Uh, God damn, Rock got like four movies coming out next year. Hell yeah. Hardest working working man. Alita, Battle Angel, July 20th. Well, well, I'm going to just say this about Ocean's 8 MI6. I don't know about that. Well, see, that's the whole issue with uh, Justice League. Because Henry Cavill has a beard and a mustache in that movie. And he's working on that when they were doing the reshoots with Justice yeah. League. And they said, fuck you, Warner. He's on our time now. Yeah. You're going to have to digitally take it out. And we saw how that come out. It's just called MI6, right? Yeah. Uh, July 27th. The Predator comes out August 3rd. Uh, there's an Equalizer 2. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like crap. August 10th. So, um, White Boy Rick with uh, I do who? Want to see that. White Boy Rick. It's an actual real life story. It's a it's a true story. This uh, Ocean's Eight. So apparently, it's not like. So I think I might have been misunderstanding what's going on with this. It's not like, hey, we're this group of thieves. No, it's his sister. Yeah, Sandra Bullock plays his sister. I might be okay with that. October fifth. I'm a little bit more open <laughs> to that. Venom. I'm actually excited about that. Yeah. I need. I'm gonna need a trailer soon. Um, there's another Halloween coming out. Okay. Why is there another Jungle Book coming out? That's interesting. Um, Dark Phoenix comes out November second. Dark Phoenix. I didn't realize it was coming out this year. I thought that was like years off. No. 
You know, they're doing a pro- they're starting to do the promo. <laughs> November 16th, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. That's going to be fucking great. How's Ezra Miller? Shout out to all those movies. Do you want, which one do you think you were? Oh, wait. I already know. Which Cre- one do you think you were? <laughs> Creed 2 drops November 21st. Yeah, okay. I like Creed. Creed, no, Creed was good. It's just, uh, I don't know if it's a sequel. December 14th, <laughs> Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That's a long way off. Yeah. But I mean, like I said, it's a lot of movies, and this is the stuff we know about. Yeah. Other stuff just doesn't have dates, and they're just going to be like, hey. And you never know when a movie's going to come and steal the season. Like, honestly, no, I say this, I think it was uh, 2010. No one thought Inception was going to do that well in the middle of the summer. Yeah. But anyways, that's our show, people. Thanks for joining us. You know, make sure you check out the full broadcast. Um, next show, we're going to be giving you our 6 to 10 of the best things we saw this year, movies and TV shows. Uh, Prepare for controversy. No, it's going to be controversy. I know that. Jarvis, but, I'm not even going to tell you beforehand what it is. For I, I'm not either. Like, I've been sitting up here. I, I wrote down everything that I liked so far this year. The fact some of the stuff I've had to cut out has pissed me off. <laughs> Fair enough. Because it was just right there, and I had to decide what what was it. Yeah. And it would be like, one actor didn't quite convince me mm-hmm. of their role, and that was it. It's a couple of things like that right now. Yeah. But uh, make sure you check that out. Uh, that's going to be dropping uh, sometime around Christmas because we won't be here. Uh, we all know we record on Mondays, and Christmas is on a Monday. And then New Year's Day is on a Monday, so... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Next couple of shows are going to be recorded. I don't think we'll have any Facebook Live. So sorry about that, guys. And we're actually coming up on the one year mark of intermission. And uh, Woo! thanks for rolling with us. Uh-huh. We're going to have uh, I wear a tuxedo shirt. How about that? <laughs> That's the best I can do for you guys. I'll grab whatever I wear. I'll wear whatever I grab out of the closet. Yeah. But uh, thanks for checking out the show. Make sure you check out the full episode dropping later this week. And. Uh, Make Prepare sure you for total domination. <laughs> Make sure you check us out. You know, hit us up on our social media. Me on Instagram is at Ziggy the Lionhearted. You got Howard at, at Howard underscore Jerome. And um, anybody that goes see Star Wars from the time that we've had this conversation on, and you think it's a good movie, please explain to me why. You know what? Let's both post something after this show <laughs> so we can open up that conversation. And we'll put on the thing, spoilers are in this in this uh, picture. Yeah. So be good. Don't, don't come on the picture if you don't want to spoil I ain't seen the movie yet. Motherfucker, you I see just it? really wanted to like it, but. I mean, like I said, it's. I fell asleep. I'm like this. One, it's too long. If, if you're gonna be that long, you gotta have a strong story, and the story just wasn't strong enough to be. Wait, that long. when that whole face off between Luke and Kylo, because we said we're, Kylo, we're yeah. done with, we're but, done with spoilers. Well, well, no, but anyways, no, no, fuck it. Before look, Luke and Kylo, I thought they were about to cut out right then, and they probably should have. But, but anyways, uh, thanks for checking us out. We're gonna probably keep just talking after the show. Uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say. Zip it up and zip it out. The hell. I got that from Dave Chappelle. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) that's what Dave Chappelle says. Are we still recording?